Hello lovelies, it's Liz, and today, you can't handle it, there's her glare, that's what today, okay, as I was saying, hello lovelies, it's Liz, and today, we are doing the start of something new, well, not necessarily the start of something new, but a new season, it is September 1st when you're watching this, do you know what that means, spooky season is upon us. Anybody who knows me personally knows that Halloween is my absolute all-time favorite holiday, and it's that time of year, hence to why I'm wearing an orange shirt, because I was not wearing this all day. I literally just put it on, and I just put these on. Woohoo! Spooky season is here. Obviously not in my room right now. I um, had to move my desk into the spare bedroom because I needed to fit a changing table in my room for when Mila gets here, so... That's that. I'm debating though if I'm actually going to film in here or not, or if I'll just find a spot on the floor in my room to film. But anyways, that's not the purpose of the video. The reason we are here is because we are going to decorate my bedroom for spooky season. And I cannot wait. I have been waiting to do that. I want to do this mid-August, but I really didn't have the time. But I'm making the time. It's September. It's officially time to decorate, so let's do this. The room is really small. You've never really seen my whole room. You've just seen what's behind me. And it kind of looks bigger on camera, to be honest, but it's not. My room is a box. It's tiny. You will see that <laughs> when I move you in there. But, yeah. If you're interested to decorate with me, keep on watching. I thought it'd be cool to just kind of show you, like, do a little quick go-through of what I got. And then just kind of do, like, a speed-through of me decorating. So, yeah. I'll move you around the room as I'm decorating so you can see different parts of the room. That way you're not just looking at one part and I'm over here and you can't see anything. But, let's just go through what I got. Um, first, I got these. <laughs> They're little paper bats. I got this idea actually from like the Halloween parties that I go to. And you just make it, it looks like they're flying across a, yeah, they're paper. They're construction paper if you're curious. I got this thingy. I don't know what this is. One of my kids actually picked this out for me and so I'm obsessed with it. One of the kids from the daycare, they thought of me and they're like, Miss Liz would love this. So of course, it's it stays. Then I got this big bag. And it's just a little skeleton bowl because they're cute. And this is Kato. He's dusty. We've been in my closet. This is Kato. This is Sully's friend. Just kidding. Sully used to be scared of it. I don't think he is anymore. No, he don't care. But this is Kato. I love skulls, by the way. So that is going to be the main thing that you see in this. It's there. I'm obsessed. I don't know why. So I have this big black one. She's pretty. This one... Well, I had a plant, but I accidentally broke it off, and I didn't mean to. This one's an ashtray, but I don't smoke, so I just use it for decoration because it's pretty. And then I got these this year. These are so cool. <laughs> uh, I get so excited. These that were given to me, but look. How freaking awesome are these? I am obsessed, and I can't wait to put them out. <laughs> My little plastic skeleton thing. Skeleton cup. Fun fact, orange is my favorite color. I don't know if I've ever said that, but yeah. Orange is my favorite color, so Halloween's great. My car is orange. I own a lot of orange. Then I have these little skulls that I'll probably just put in here because why not? I have this little stack of books that's, again, super dusty. With a little skeleton guy on top. Super cute. You can't see. There's a sign that says, oh, I got scratched up in the thingy, but that's okay. Boo to you. Oh, I have this little pumpkin. He, oh, he still works. He lights up. You know, you see the batteries dying. I've had them for a while. I've had them for like three years now. My little meditating skeleton. I love this thing. I want to get, they have, an, they have a praying one and they have another one that I want to get this year. And then I have, and then I have this thing. It's really dusty. It's a skeleton body see-through thing. A scratched up vase. Let's keep some orange flowers in it because you know it's Halloween. A skeleton scentsy warmer, and it the light inside's green. A skeleton hand holding a rose. I'm obsessed with this. I don't know why. I saw it in store and was like, I don't care how much it is, I'm buying it. It was seventeen dollars, but I'm pretty sure I got it half off because it was when they were having sales. Michaels. I suggest Michaels. They have great Halloween stuff. It can get expensive though, so. I kind of go when everything's on sale. And then I have like the 
I don't know what this stuff's called. The cloth stuff, and I bought two more today. I didn't know. I only meant to buy one, but this one, I guess, was stuck to the back of it. It's not even the same color, so. And then I got these little lights. It's only, what? It's only 20 lights, but I'm thinking about the changing table and what I'm going to do with it because it's going to be used for decoration because she's not here yet. <laughs> this cute little sign. This is a Dollar Tree. It was cute. I'm also in the process of making a door hanger for myself for Halloween. It's, if you can't tell what movie this is, then I can't be friends with you. Definitely not finished, so don't worry. I'm still gonna add faces in the words, but it's gonna say, um, it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. I'm super excited. I'm pretty proud. It's turning out okay. She got a big head, but we'll work on it. So I can't hang it up yet because it's not done, but it'll get done and it'll be on the wall. It's, I don't know, I'm debating on putting it on my door. Because I always have a door hanger on my door that I've made. And I don't have a Halloween one. So this one might be on my door. Right, the last thing I got was a new bed set. I didn't really get this for Halloween, but it kind of goes with it because it's plaid and black. I just really needed a new one. And then to make it Halloween, I bought this cute little pillow from Walmart. I'm sure as the season goes on, I will buy more stuff. And you'll kind of slowly see them added in the background. But yeah, this is what we're working with. So let's get into it. I didn't really let him film this, just I, all I put down here was Kato, the flowers, and the skull cup, just to add some color, and I put that up, sorry, didn't realize it wasn't recording. Is this really a Liz video if you don't see a pile of laundry somewhere? <laughs> Pause. I'm curious who actually uses a flat sheet I need to know I don't personally I, there's no point
right now I'm sitting in bed <laughs> really comfortable but I really hope y'all enjoyed this video I'm again I will probably add stuff as the season goes on and keep y'all updated on what I add where I put things it's nothing super fancy but I enjoy it it's just a touch of Halloween and I'm obsessed this pillow has literally made my life $5 pillow from Walmart this is the first of many many spooky season videos to come bye guys